Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to give you guys an update on the desk that we did and the, the corner desk that we did uh, in my son's oversized closet. So if you want to see the whole video on how to make the desk, uh, go look at the whole, entire video. But I got a bunch of questions on the measurements of the desk and make sure that you guys can uh, uh, get the measurements so you can build your own desk and you guys can provide me updates on how things went. And uh, I'll give you the measurements of what I did to make it kind of fit the what we kind of wanted in this corner. So I think it's a really good size uh, and I like how it really turned out. So let me get you some of the measurements. So first things first is that we created two of these bottom shelves um, and they're really, it's a fixed shelf. So it's just, you know, top, top and bottom. The width of this is 19 and a half. So it's 19 and a half inches wide and uh, total on that. And the depth of it, the depth of it is about 15 and a half. So it's about that. Um, there's a little bit of a, um, a little bit higher. It's a little bit over 15 and a half because we had these front pieces in here to add this trim work. So I trimmed everything out with uh, like one inch pine wood. So that's why you see these trim pieces and it gives you kind of a nice edge and finished look to it. The sides of it, the sides of it and the top of it are um, three quarter inch maple, um, which is basically cabinet finish plywood. So the top is maple but it's plywood in between, so it's got a you know, skin finish on it of maple, which gives it a really nice finish to the top. Um, you can stain it. We painted it to match his room a little bit better, but um, you can stain it as well. So that's really the dimensions from the width and um, from the depth of it. The height of this, if you look real quick, the height of this is about 28 and a quarter. So that's really the height of what this is. And the reason I went with that is because you can, it's comfortable to slide a chair in here. Uh, so you can slide, he does an overstuffed chair, he does an office chair, he slides it in there and that sort of thing. But again, this front face drops in, right? So the desk drops into that, so it's about another half an inch. So about 28 and a half. Um, but from here down is 28 inches. So that's really the, the height of this. So these two match. These two are basically the exact same. Um, and you can see in the first video, you can see how I made these. Uh, that gives you the dimensions of what these are. But these are exactly the same on both sides. So that gives you the, the dimensions of the shelving units that are there. Now, the top of the desk is really built out of three sections. So it has this kind of, um, it's, it's got a rectangle, a rectangle, and it's got this the, kind of the diamond shape here um, for the corner. So each rectangle, if I take off the trim piece, again, the trim piece is in there, it's 24 inches. So 24 inches wide uh, is, is the, into the top. And again, if I take off the trim piece here, because I have that trim piece on there, I can see where the line is from it. And it's 19 and a half deep. So 24 inches wide, 19 and a half deep. And that's minusing the trim work from the front. So if you're just cutting this raw, that's what you'd cut. 19 and a half wide, 24 deep, if you want it to look like ours. I mean, again, you can go bigger on this, but when you line these things all up, you want to make sure that when you cut your triangle for the corner or the diamond for the corner, you want it to match 19 and a half inches. So you're going to have to have this kind of cut here um, to make sure it matches up. So again, two of those, one, two. So the whole thing is, you know, basically a mirror on each side. The only piece that gets a little bit more complicated is this middle piece here. And again, same thing on both sides. If you look at this, this is going to be 19 and a half. So 19 and a half is here. The width across the front of the desk, the width across the front of the desk is 26 inches. So that's the front face of this without anything on there is 26 inches. So 26 inches here, 19 and a half here, 19 and a half here, and then you go through the back here, taking off that trim piece on it, which is going to give you about, you know, a little bit of space off that. So ours is 37 and a half. So 37 and a half on this side, 37 and a half on this side as well. So that would get you this, this triangle or diamond kind of cut up for the corner that fits kind of as a 90 degree angle into the corner it fits really well so 
I think if you saw the first video too, obviously I trimmed all this out. This is all trimmed out in pine. It does two things for you. It covers up the um, the plywood face of it. You don't want that exposed. There's no way you'll be paint to make it look good. So it covers that up. So did that. And then underneath, like I saw in the beginning of the first video, I just cut two boards to sit in the corner. So this desk, you could stand on this desk. It's got two boards underneath as braces for that back corner there. So you can see that that's one right there. And here's the second one right there. So it has two braces for it to give the back a brace and then obviously everything's leveled out. But I mean, you could stand on the middle of this desk and it'd be fine. Um, so that's really the dimensions of this. Okay, so now that you see um, the kind of the raw cut pieces without the trim on it, let me give you the total of what we did for height of the entire desk. So the entire desk, if I had a good tape measure, there we go, try that again. The entire desk is about 29 and a half inches. So the entire desk, if you're trying to fit it into a space, is 64, or sorry, 63 and a half inches. So 63 and a half inches from basically the corner to this one. And then this one is the same. So you're gonna have the same basically on this side. So you got the height now, you got the total top um, features um, of it. So it's got that. And then basically that's it. If you want to get the fit in space, um, that's, that's what the, ours, ours is for a size. If you want to make it smaller, you have a bunch of different options to make it smaller. One is you can basically you can cut a few inches out of each of these side rectangle pieces just to kind of scooch it in. You also can make this, this uh, triangle piece smaller. Um, this just fit for our space, so I didn't need to make it um, any different than what we have here. So that's it. Um, subscribe to our channel. Hope this video gave you some of the dimensions you were looking for to try to build your own. Um, and let me know if you have any other questions. So uh, I'm happy to help and, and get you guys some details so you guys can build your own and you can give me updates on how things went. So that's it for now. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up, watch more videos with us, and uh, we'll see you next time.